Have you met Channing? Mm-mm. Oh, my God. No. He's the best. Is he? Yeah, like he's the best fucking guy. I remember I was working on the last album, and we did a whole bunch of shroomies oh. and just listened to it. He's oh, such nice. a fucking cool motherfucker. Oh, that's I like when I hear about cool people. Me too. And you know, it's always it's always scary because you never yeah. really know. I, I don't know. I, like, you never really know. You feel like you know, and that's kind of a whole thing, right? With, you know, the way everything is today is like, you, oh, I feel like I know. I've seen you before. Right. I see everything that you do. I know yeah. where you are. Twenty four hours a day. Yeah. I know you. Yeah. And. It's it's. I'm looking at you on Snapchat map. Exactly. Well, I'm looking at you on OnlyFans. <laughs> Imagine OnlyFans had a map of where the girls are all the time. That's fucked. No way. Oof. No, that'd be terrible. Anybody, but it, it's so crazy how anyone knows where you are. Yeah. At all times. Well, the government it's does. Crazy. Someone does if they're looking for you. By the way, if you're carrying a phone around. I'm a good boy. You're so a good. I'm just want to let want to let them yeah. know that. <laughs> Joe's a good boy taxes. too. Well, well, we pay our taxes. We pay our taxes, and we are not kids, and we we're definitely not bad. pay our taxes. We're only good, <laughs> only good, not bad. God bless America. It's it's it's. I don't know. It's so crazy nowadays the way that there's people feel so personal with people, mm -hmm. but it's super unpersonal at the same time. Like I remember. Whenever I started losing my weight, everybody was like, hey, this is what meth looks like. And I started like dancing on stage and having fun and having more energy and just enjoying life again. You know what I mean? Um, like I mentioned, I was shitty for a long time, but I had my baby and I'm in a great fucking spot. And then the first thing that happens is like, oh, he's on fucking drugs. Uh... And I'm like, well... I know there's people that genuinely care. Right, and they're concerned that maybe you are on drugs. Right. right. But there's also people that are just like, all right, kids, this is what fucking meth looks like. Yeah. And definitely not on meth. Um, definitely not on any fucking hard drugs, but you feel an inclination almost as, as a public figure to have to justify something that you don't need to justify first off it's nobody's business second off don't just fucking assume everything you know what i mean yeah it's like so i i was like hey guys not on fucking drugs and i know that's the crazy part is is because i know there's people that really give a shit but there's also a lot of people that are just like mean you know people are just mean in general online you never have to face re repercussions for what yeah you do. they're just not happy with their own life and they want you to fail and that's that's what you're reading you know that's all that is it's just someone wants you to be and then right. there's you know an unusual thing like all of a sudden you have this unusual amount of energy and joy for life yeah you're like oh i don't know no, I'm not seems buying different it. i'm not buying it <laughs> something i'm not can't be that it. love drug it's got to be something else it's 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 it's, it's interesting to to see it happen and i i don't know how much you uh, how much do you pay attention to social almost media almost none i yeah, i, I, I read other stuff about other things but i don't pay attention to anything about me it's not healthy for you it's not no. i i it's a long good. time ago i got off and that yeah. was like the best decision i've ever made but it is a good source of interesting shit there's a lot of interesting things to pay attention to in the world but you have to kind of be real careful how you curate it and I think with some people, what I see, and it's like I follow quite a few people that I can tell that this is what's going on, it's their daily obsession is interacting on Twitter and, like, saying things and arguing with people and getting in confrontations and, you know, and dunking on people. Right. And so they do it all day long. It's like it's one of their main interactions that it's they that, have with human beings the amount of time they put into it it probably dwarfs all the other time they put in with human beings right and it's a crazy crazy fucking thing too like i'm um who who decides what is interesting too because i'll tell you what the submarine thing um with the submarine that mm -hmm. went to go see the Titanic. Yeah. Or not submarine, but the yeah. whole Titanic deal. It's a submersible thing. Not once, Joe, in my entire life 
have I said, if I get on my phone and I'm like, hey, or if I'm not even on my phone, if I'm just like, hey, I want a jet ski. I'm thinking about getting a jet ski. And then the next time you get out your phone, you get an ad for a jet ski, right? right? But not once in my life have I been like, oh, like submersibles are very interesting to me. Like I want to go see the fucking Titanic. I, how was that story everywhere? Well, because the, the people that were involved were very wealthy, and when wealthy people do stupid shit, we have a certain sense of glee. Like when some wealthy billionaire wants to take a rocket into space and it blows up, people would be like, ha ha. There's a part of that. Right. There's definitely a part of ha ha. If you are a person who gets to watch people do something that you think is really fucking stupid, like get into an unproven watercraft. With a, a GameCube controller. That's been, had people resign because of safety concerns. Right. Uh, that's, that's one of those things where when people die like that, people enjoy watching it. They enjoy paying attention to weird? it. Is that weird? It's weird. They enjoy. But it's also fear. It's the fear yeah. of the actual experience of being that person because you could imagine it. You could imagine if you had been talked into it somehow. Everybody says it's totally safe. Right. Don't worry. And you're like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. And then you're down there in the ocean and then you hear a crack. Yeah. And you're like, oh, but those Jesus. guys, they died so fast. Supposedly. Okay. Yeah. What I heard is that something failed and it plummeted and that it, as it was plummeting, they should have, they probably knew they were dying as it was plummeting into the ocean and then because the actual imploded. collapse Jesus, would be bro jesus christ I'm tenths mad. of a second no yeah, is what I they mean, said but, imagine the force behind that weight all that water if the clouds are a million pounds yeah a cloud it's floating in the sky and it's a million yeah. pounds all imagine that shit around you you're four thousand feet deep in the ocean that's fucking crazy boom it's just pink mist. Do you think that's never happened before? I'm sure it's happened before. It's definitely happened and before. And it's it's just so crazy. Like, I don't know. That's all anybody talked about for a week. Right. And then now, no one fucking talks about it. It just comes well, and Well, because we and found out that they died, and then there's not much more to say other than, you know, people go looking into the history of the safety concerns that these engineers had. Right. And, how did anybody ignore that? How did they allow people to do right. this? And, you know, the dude who ran it, you know, the, then they f they're fascinated by him because he was actually in it. It's not like he just put somebody in it. He went in it himself. So he believed in it. He, he, was, he died with them. 